You. Yeah, you. I really need your detective help with these riddles. Maria came to a beauty salon. She had two appointments, a manicure and a haircut. Suddenly, she realized that one of the professionals working there was dangerous. Who was it? The hairdresser with huge stained scissors and brushes in the pocket of her apron? Or the nail tech with a nail file and suspicious red stains on her uniform? Look at the manicurist more attentively. In her bag, you'll notice a knife, a rope, and a tape. She's definitely dangerous. Look at these people waiting for their flight at the airport. Can you figure out which of them is a dog owner? It's the man on the left, sitting on a bench and reading a book. Have you been attentive enough to notice he's got a bone in his bag? It must be a gift for his pooch. Now look at these guys. One of them is a zombie. Can you figure out which one it is? When you think about it, you'll understand that zombies are into brains, not computers. Plus, the guy on the right has a weirdly shaped palm. And he's looking at the other guy's head too intently. The gamer should watch out. Now, this might look like a lovely family portrait, but not all people depicted here are actually human. Can you figure out which family member is a ghost? Pay attention to the shadows. The man is the only person in this photo to have one. Sadly, the rest of his family are just ghosts. You've got to choose one room in which you'll have to spend one hour. One of the rooms is swarming with thousands of rats. Another is almost completely filled with water. And the last room is an infinite pool with jellyfish. Which room should you pick? The second room is the safest option. If you manage to stay close to the surface, you'll be able to breathe since there's a bit of space between the ceiling and the water. Oh, yes. Look at these hybrid animals. You're about to fight one of them. Think twice before picking your opponent. The wrong choice may cost you your life. Up for the hybrid of a shark and a jaguar. Such a bizarre creature won't be able to breathe on dry land, and you'll just need to wait a bit before the jury announces your victory. So you've just moved to a new town. It's so small that there are just two barber shops there. The barber working in the first one has an impeccable haircut. The hair of the barber in the second establishment looks quite messy. And still, you choose to go to the second professional. Why? Well, if there are just two barbers in the town, it means the second barber gave the first one his perfect haircut. Look at these ladies attentively. All of them seem to be pregnant. But what if I tell you that one of them has just stolen a watermelon? Can you figure out who it is? The first lady has a visible belly button. The second one doesn't hold her belly at the moment, so it must be real. As for the third girl, she's holding her belly tightly, and we can see something green through her clothes. She must be the watermelon thief. Now let's check your logistical thinking and math skills. You have 3 empty cups and 10 sugar cubes. You need to distribute these sugar cubes between the cups in such a way that each cup contains an odd number of cubes. All you need to do is put three cubes in the first cup and three cubes in the second cup. After that, place the remaining four cubes and the second cup in cup number three. 
This way, the first cup will have three sugar cubes, which is an odd number. The second cup will have three sugar cubes, too. As for cup number three, it will contain seven sugar cubes, four of its own, and three from the second cup. You have a box with multicolored marbles. All but two of them are red, all but two are blue, and all but two are green. How many marbles are there in the box? There are just three marbles in the box, blue, green, and red. A young lady has the same number of brothers and sisters, but each of her brothers has twice fewer brothers and sisters. How many sisters and brothers are there in the family? There are four girls and three boys in the family. Once, a man decided to go on a fishing trip with his friends. He asked his wife to pack some things for him. A fishing rod, a fishing box, some clothes that would be enough for a week, and his favorite pajamas. The wife did so. After the man returned, he entertained his wife with funny stories about what had happened during the trip. Suddenly, he asked why his wife hadn't packed his pajamas. The wife immediately understood that her husband was lying to her. He hadn't been on a fishing trip. How did she understand that? The woman put the pajamas in the fishing box. And if her husband didn't find it, it means he didn't open the fishing box. What a weird fishing trip that was. Hmm. Jack is participating in a challenge. He's made it to the last stage, which takes place in a desert. If he succeeds now, he'll win $1 million. Jack needs to get a key out of one of four pots. On top of the first pot, there's a bowl filled with a strong acid. The second pot is covered with a bowl full of venomous spiders. In the bowl placed on the third pot, Jack sees a raging fire. A viper is curled up in the bowl covering the fourth pot. Now Jack isn't allowed to drop the bowls to the ground or turn them over. Which pot should he choose? The guy should choose the third bowl. He can put out the fire with sand and get the key. Camilla was afraid of dogs. One day, while jogging in the park, she noticed a large dog sitting near the bench. It looked unfriendly. The leash attached to the dog's collar was three feet long. Camilla decided it would be safe to pass by if there were at least seven feet of space between her and the animal. But even on a leash, the dog still managed to bite her. How come? Well, the leash wasn't tied to anything. Kevin, a security guard in an amusement park, found a boy standing near a roller coaster. The kid said his name was Nick. He didn't know where his father was. Kevin took Nick to his office and made an announcement. Soon after that, two men showed up at the door. The first exclaimed that he and his son had been in a cafe. But after eating his burger, the man felt so unwell, he had to spend almost 20 minutes in the bathroom. When he got out, his son wasn't around. The other man interrupted him, saying that he had ridden a roller coaster with his son. Then he left the boy to wait there and went to get some hot dogs. Which man was Nick's father? Nick is too young to ride that roller coaster. Look at that sign stating that only those older than 14 are allowed to have a ride. It means the second man is lying. The boy's dad is the unlucky guy with food poisoning. A bank manager was missing. The only suspicious thing the police found was a note left on his office desk. There were four numbers on it. His colleagues, John, James, and Otto, claimed they had nothing to do with this disappearance. But the police thought otherwise. Who did they suspect?
When you write the word 1, it starts with the letter O. 2 starts with T, and so does 3. Then we have 1 again, that's the letter O. Together, we have the name Otto. And finally, a funny riddle might help you relax. Why should you never trust gravity? Because gravity will always let you down. <laughs> Have a good one! That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.